Turning now to the story, 41 Action News first broke today. The city of Overland Park paid a former officer more than $80,000 to resign. This after he shot and killed an unarmed team, John Albers, who was backing out of his driveway more than two years ago. Well, the 41 Action News I team obtained documents showing the payout, which the city of Overland Park confirmed today. And the I team's Andy Alcock talked to Albers mother for this exclusive story after she learned about the deal. The dollars and the data speak for themselves and I'm I'm stunned. Sheila Albers is reacting to a taxpayer funded payout given to former Overland Park police officer Clayton Jennison, who shot and killed her 17 year old son John. It happened after officers were sent to the Albers home to check on a call stating the teen might be suicidal. A neighbor's doorbell camera captured video the night of the shooting in January 2018. It shows Officer Jennison approaching as the garage door starts to open and the teen starts to back up the family's minivan but before the shooting. In February 2018, one month after the Albers fatal shooting, Overland Park Police Chief Frank Donchez and Johnson County District Attorney Steve Howe announced Jennison would not be charged with a crime. Chief Donchez specifically said the officer, who he did not name at the time, resigned, citing personal reasons. False. False. It's, a, it's just a false statement. He may have resigned, but he resigned under pressure. After the 41 Action News I team exclusively obtained documents showing Jennison's salary increase from roughly $46,000 in 2017 to over $81,000 in 2018, even though Jennison resigned barely two months into 2018, the city of Overland Park sent us this statement. It reads in part, in the best interest of the community, city officials negotiated an agreement with former Overland Park police officer Clayton Jennison, which resulted in his voluntary resignation and the city providing a final compensation package. That compensation package included $11,040 in regular pay, comp time, vacation, and holiday pay. It also included $70,000 for, quote, the severance payment. In 2018, both Donchez and Howe said Jennison fired his weapon out of fear he would get run over. Here's what Howe said in 2018. And um, we believe that based on the evidence that we have available, that that was a reasonable belief. What Donchez and Howe did was obstruct justice by not releasing the truth. In the Albers family wrongful death lawsuit, which resulted in a cash settlement, a federal judge ruled Jennison was never in the path of the minivan and did not act reasonably. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News. Johnson County and Overland Park have never released investigation documents of the shooting to the public. Sheila Albers calls it a, quote, disgusting lack of transparency. Earlier this year, she helped fight for a bill to release records surrounding officer-involved shootings, but the bill died in committee last month.